In this video, we're going to test fit these rods and pistons into our Stroker 4.6. Make sure we got the correct clearance we need. Uh, make sure there's nothing else binding or anything like that. The way I'm going to check for clearance on this thing is I'm going to put a piston and a rod in here. and I'm going to rotate it around. And I'm going to mark anywhere that's closer than like a 50 thousandths uh, of an inch clearance on this thing. So we need to get our rods separated again. To do that, I'm going to take them one by one into the rod vise and, and separate them. Back at the rod vise, I'm going to stick this guy in here, clamp it down a little bit. That way we can loosen up the rod bolts. All right, I got the rod bolts loosened and backed off just a little bit. So I'm going to put the cap in here, make sure I don't get it on the split. Tighten it down, wiggle up and down while pulling back. Now we got them separated. All right, back on our engine, I have uh, the number one journal basically all the way down, and I'm going to orient this around. Okay, so now we can slowly lower the piston and the rod down in there. Be careful not to drag the rod on the cylinder. I'm going to reach underneath it and grab hold of the rod and slowly lower it down onto the journal. Holding the piston, rotate it around. So one thing I just noticed with these um, is so these are, are narrowed or they're offset just a little bit. And if you can, if you look really close, there's a little bit of overhang of the machine surface of the cap. Uh, on this side and there's not on this side meaning the bearing is a little bit shifted this way or it's narrowed on this edge right here and if we put the rods in the way that I have them oriented now uh, this side is going to be up against the fillet of the uh, crankshaft so it may cause an issue to where that is not enough clearance because I know that these crankshafts on the on the uh, manly have a, have a big fillet and so I may need to switch these rods around so that this side is up against the fillet uh, and, it, and it, it allows that to spin. So I'm going to put, I'm going to continue putting this on. I'm also going to put number five on there, snug them down and see if it turns. Uh, it may not, it, it may not, and I may have to just rotate these uh, rods around. And now put our cap on there. We're going to go serial number to serial number. Okay, so I got five here. I'm gonna drop this down in there nice and slow. Okay, now I'm gonna put the cap on, make sure I go serial number to serial number. Okay, so I just hand tightened these, uh, barely just snugged them down, and there is no rod play. These rods should be able to go back and forth slightly and there is nothing there. I probably can't turn the crank. Yeah, can't turn the crank over. So I, uh, what you can do to fix that is either swap the rods out or what I'm gonna do, uh, I was thinking about it, if I take five and turn it to one and one over to five, uh, that essentially flips the pistons around and now the fillet edge will be up against this side, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the gap will be on this side where the fillet is, and then the gap will be on this side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch these pistons over uh, and then see what uh, see what we got. First I'll get the bolts loose. Okay, so now my bolts are backed out about a quarter of an inch. Just take a little mallet and tap down on them. It could be rubber mallet, it could be wooden mallet. You're basically just separating the rods again. Okay, so this is way better, I can already tell. So I got these snugged down. I got all four of them snugged down just a little bit here. And you can see the, the rods, the end play, it's moving. Like you can wiggle them back and forth. And once I rotated the engine around, it, it already was starting to go back and forth. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. Uh, make sure that uh, you pay attention to where that narrowed edge is. And if you're using a stroker crank, uh, the fillet is this area right here. That's the rounded edge of it. And if you're going to run something like this, you have to have a, like a narrowed bearing. 
uh, to where the or an offset to where it's going to be up against that fillet. Otherwise, you just saw if you get these backwards, that uh, straight edge will dig into it. And when you tighten them down, it's just it's not going to rotate. So uh, all number five through eight is now going to become one through four. Number one through four is now going to become five through eight. Doesn't matter the placement of them. Everything is balanced, so uh, should be no issue. Now inside the engine right here, if you see that rod bolt right there and see how it's right up against the, the bottom of the cylinder, as I rotate it around, it gets very, very close. That is too close. So I'm going to take a paint pen and mark that so I know when I pull this all back apart, I know where to grind on it. Okay, so now that it's marked, you can see where I'm talking about. That's the area that's going to get ground out. Now I'll do that for all eight of them and then take everything out. So I've gone through and uh, marked everyone. This is uh, cylinder number one, number two, number three, and number four. And here's number five, six, seven, and eight. You can see they're all kind of similar spots. There's eight, there's number seven. Uh, so once you go through, they should all look kind of similar in the, in the same spot. You need about the same material taken off. I also went through and remarked the rods. So there's number two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now if you look at them, one through four, the manly uh, is up. All the pistons, the arrows are facing up. But now it's flip-flop. So now one, two, three, four, the manly emblem is up. And five, six, seven, eight, the manly emblem is down. So I'm kind of glad this happened so that uh, I get a chance to talk about the bearings and how they are inside there. If it's confusing to you, uh, then just make sure that uh, if the bearing is offset inside the rod, so there, like if you see a little bit more material on this side uh, of the rod than on this side of the rod sticking out from the bearing, uh, then you want to make sure that that side is up against the fillet of the of the crankshaft. Sometimes that's actually tapered too. Or if you get too long of bearings, you may have to taper these out. A machine shop can do that. Thank you.